The U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft is making significant progress. It is moving out of technology development and into the critical engineering and manufacturing development phase, which is a crucial step towards bringing this groundbreaking aircraft to life. The future long-range assault aircraft program is estimated to be worth around $70 billion, including foreign military sales, and will eventually replace approximately 2,000 Black Hawk utility helicopters. However, it is essential to note that the future long-range assault aircraft will not be a direct one-for-one -one replacement for existing aircraft. Instead, it will take over the crucial roles of the Black Hawk around 2030. The Black Hawk has long been the go-to aircraft for the Army in transporting troops to and around the battlefield. The Textron Bell-designed future long-range assault aircraft has already successfully undergone a preliminary design review and an Army Systems Acquisition Review Council. This confirms that all sources of program risk have been adequately addressed for this phase of the program. The Army will now be able to issue a contract option to Bell as they enter the engineering and manufacturing development phase. Textron Bell won the bid to build the future long-range assault aircraft in late 2022, following a rigorous competition with a Sikorsky Boeing team. Both teams flew technology demonstrators for several years to evaluate aircraft capabilities and mitigate risks for a future program of record. The Army is now planning to equip the first unit with future long-range assault aircraft capabilities in fiscal year 2031. A limited user test is expected sometime between fiscal year 2027 and 2028. The future long-range assault aircraft will provide the Army with enhanced assault and medevac capabilities, including significantly increased speed, range, and endurance. This is an important development for the Army as their current fleet of helicopters will only be able to meet future distance requirements in places like the Indo-Pacific Theater. The future long-range assault aircraft aims to have a range of approximately 2,440 nautical miles without refueling, while also being agile enough to maneuver troops into dangerous hotspots. By prioritizing the development of the future long-range assault aircraft, the Army is actively preparing for the challenges of future battlefields. Unlike future long-range assault aircraft, the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft, or FARA program, has had a different fate. The Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program was initiated by the United States Army in 2018 to develop a successor to the Bell OH-58 Kiowa Scout Helicopter as part of the Future Vertical Lift Program. This program aimed to modernize and enhance the Army's capabilities in aerial reconnaissance and attack missions. Five different manufacturers were awarded design contracts in April 2019 to bring this vision to reality. These companies were tasked with designing and building prototypes of their respective future attack reconnaissance aircraft candidates. Among the contenders were industry giants like Sikorsky and Bell, who had a long history of producing successful helicopters for military use. After years of hard work and dedication, Sikorsky and Bell emerged as the frontrunners. In 2022, the two manufacturers were selected to build two competitive prototypes. Things were progressing smoothly, as in February 2023, both companies announced that their aircraft were 95% complete. They were only waiting for the government-furnished engine to proceed with final testing. However, the future of the FARA program took an unexpected turn on February 8, 2024. On that day, the Army made a surprising announcement, 
The cancellation of the FARA program. This decision sent shockwaves through the industry, considering the significant investments made by the government and the contractors involved. The Army Chief of Staff explained that the changing aerial reconnaissance needs prompted this decision. Lessons learned from recent conflicts, especially in Ukraine, had influenced the Army's judgment. Therefore, the cancelled FARA program was a response to evolving strategic priorities and the need to adapt to new operational requirements. The cancellation of the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program not only marked the end of a specific initiative, but also closed the chapter on many attempts to replace the aging OH-58 Scout helicopter. The OH-58 had faithfully served the Army since the Vietnam War, but its capabilities were outdated. Over the years, the Army has dedicated billions of dollars to various programs to develop a suitable replacement. 